Hey guys, welcome to my channel Data Driven Decision. In the channel, I post more about data science and related technology kind of stuff. So if you are interested in the channel and this, this sort of things, you can definitely subscribe to my channel and follow me and get notified with the bell notification. So I think let's get started with the video. So in the earlier video, we talk about the comparison between the Julia and Python programming language and their arithmetic operations, as you can see. So a lot of different uh, stuffs we have talked about and the, one of the main thing we have talked is the to the power thing. So in to the power 3 it gives you 8 in Julia programming language and in Python it have to be a like 2 double star 3. So that was the one difference between these two languages. And after that in this today's video uh, we are going to talk about more of the variable kind of stuff. So what is variable and how you can leverage the variable in these two languages and or how to compare the variable these two languages basically so in uh, so what is variable is all about so variable is all about uh, a code which help you to uh, rewrite the code very easily basically suppose uh, my income is thousand so you can see that my income is 1000 and my ta tax rate I have given is 0.1 so that means it's 10% tax rate so if I have to calculate my tax then I just write my tax equal to my income into my tax rate so that means 1000 into 0 0.1 what will be my tax it will be like 100 if I run the sale over here you will get uh, this output again so this is basically the variable Suppose I have to write the my tax rate every time like 0.1 again in the next operation I have to run it 0.1 so I have to do it multiple times for different operations so it help you to reduce your uh, coding writing uh, timing basically it saves you a lot of time and the similar kind of style you can also do in Python so the same code you can run it in Python and you will get the similar kind of results so i have already copied it over here so if i just run it so you'll get uh, this particular output so as you know so this is a variable basically so uh, whenever you write a variable you need to uh, have something in mind basically so you cannot create any kind of variable name there is some sort of rules you need to follow to uh, for the variable names so for variable names it should always start with the name with the alphabetical um, alphabetical order like or a b c or capital a capital b you can also do that but it is always good practice to always use an like lowercase uh, letters in your variable name and you can also use the underscore as you can see over here if it uh, makes sense otherwise you don't have to use the underscore or you can also use the camel casing so the camel casing means suppose i have given over here my income so it is like this so you can i can also write it like this like my and i is capital in come so that is thousand so i can also write it in this way this is the camel casing but uh, the but for python i'm going to show you so python there could be some problem so in the python cannot start the variable name with this symbol basically so you can see like from percentage uh, or hash key so these things you cannot use in python variable names or percentage uh, you can see like uh, to the power plus uh, this symbol mathematical symbols so this sort of things you cannot do in Julia you can do this sort of things like in Julia you can use some of the mathematical names like uh, this particular sign this sign you can use in Julia it is always used as a dot product between these two matrices when we use it we used to use this particular sign and uh, we can use suppose like plus um, a to the power so these sort of things we can do in uh, julia programming language so there is little differences between these two languages so so i'm going to sh show you how to differentiate between that 
so you can see in julia it is a julia notebook so in the julia notebook i have already written this particular symbol like this so this equal to 5 so if i run this cell so it has been defined is 5 so if i again uh, like the particular symbol over here and run it you can see the output would be like 5 but you can see that if i just copy this one and if i just paste it in the python notebook and i just do it i just want to run this one so you can see that it will not run it will not let you define the particular symbol to the 5 so that is a difference in python in julia also you can do something like this one as i mentioned plus a so this is all the mathematical notations so because the julia is very mathematical like human centric language the kind of thing we used to write in uh, notebooks in our mathematical formulas so you can kind of stuff you can do in julia also so over here i have write, write it over there if i run this uh it is two and if i again run this it will give you two basically so the same thing if i just copy this one and paste it in python notebook okay. if i run this one so it will again is it will not let you run a similar stuff the another one is this one if i say you so if i run this one so you'll get two and if i just uh, if i just copy and paste it here and if i run this you can see the output so you can define this particular uh, this sort of notation as a variable in Ju julia but uh, you cannot do in python basically so this is the one stuff and another uh, important stuff is that in uh, like variable assignment uh, in some programming languages you have to mention what kind of data type uh, you need to use for the particular variable suppose for c++ if you want to suppose for c++ if i want to just uh, use my income is thousand as a variable name so what i have to do is that i have to write it like this like i'm just creating another cell so i have to mention it int first because it's integer type of data data type then i have to write it like this like uh, my income equal to thousand sorry so this is the uh, static uh, kind of notation so static variable basically you can say so in the low level languages uh, you have to use the static language but for the high level languages you can you don't have to use the static language you just give the variable name and the data assigned to that and it will automatically take the particular uh, variable name and do the operations accordingly so this is the julia and the similar kind of stuff is also same for the python so both of both of the languages are similar to each other and gives a similar kind of stuff basically so in julia also you can see that so this is another thing i can uh, just try to find out the type of a particular variable for that we have two different functions in both in python and julia in python how do you find out the uh, type of a particular variable so for that what you have to do is you need to write type and give the variable name so that is the my underscore income so if i write it and if i run this particular cell you can see the type of the particular variable so that is my income so it's a uh, variable type is integer and you can definitely see that thousand is integer so the same thing you will find over here suppose uh, zero point it's a float number we all know that so if we want to find out the uh, variable type then what i have to do is that we just copy this one in my uh, take tax rate and if i just put it over here put it over here and if we run this so we can see it's a float number the similar kind of stuff we can also do in uh, julia but for julia the function name is literally different so for that what you have to do uh, the function name is basically the type of so type of if we do that and if we just give the variable name my tax rate and if we run this so you can see 
the float so the same thing over there and also if we can just do this one mine come and if i just copy this and paste it over here if i run this one you can see the integer type so it will give you the any like it will give the type of a variable so whenever you need to know the type of variable you are doing some operations and all uh, you are doing coding uh, different data science stuffs in that case if you whenever you just want to find out the type or the code is very long you don't remember the kind of uh, variable it ha it has in the beginning or you have defined at the beginning that in that case the type or type of uh, functions could help you out in uh, in these programming languages and the last thing uh, another last thing i'm going to tell you is uh, about the special functions or special variables in uh, in this this language is basically suppose in julia what you can do is that uh, it's special uh, method or special variable you can say it's a pi so we all know the pi but in julia we don't have to define the pi of its 3.1 for this particular data so what you can do is that you can just write pi and if you run this you can get 3.1 for the value the pi value you can get it here but in python uh, you cannot do that in python if you just run this one uh, just showing you the pi okay and uh, if i just run this one so you can see the name pi is not defined because in python it is not defined uh, as a variable special variable so for that what i have to do is that you just need to just pi equals to and it to give the this value the pi value so if you just give it here and if i run it and if you just uh, again call pi and again run it you'll get this value so this is the little little things uh, the different things between these two languages and these are very important things and could help you out immensely in different ways uh, if you like the channel please subscribe to my channel get a different decisions uh, i i'll definitely appreciate that please follow me on linkedin and also you can also visit my uh, quora space data driven decisions for more information about data science this sort of stuff so in the next uh, video is going to be another julia comparison between the python and uh, julia so stay tuned for that and thank you for watching my video thanks